So guys, it's Mukara here, and this is a top five countdown of my all-time favorite video games so far. Uh, now, these are all on previous gen consoles because next gen releases haven't been great in my opinion. So I'm just going to start off by saying number five is Batman Arkham Asylum. Now the reason I chose Batman Arkham Asylum over the other games is because I felt that Arkham Asylum was a lot more story based. As in you were closed in, you had a linear storyline which you had to follow, which is what I prefer in games. I'm, I'm not keen on open world because I get sidetracked. That's my personal opinion. So um, Arkham City I did prefer, um, but for story based reasons I will say Arkham Asylum for number 5. So yeah, let's move on to number 4. And at number 4 we have Skate 3, which despite all its bugs and glitches is actually a fantastic game. I have played this for so many hours, nearly perfected this one as well, but gave up trying to kill all the challenges as they get pretty damn hard. But, I mean, I was just playing this recording it, did that intentionally by the way, um, and I ended up playing for like nearly an hour, not even realising, so jokes on me for having to cut it down. But yeah, I was just mucking about on Jump the Shark for about an hour. <laughs> That's how good this game is, it has unlimited replayability and it's just great fun with friends. Um, so I would highly recommend this game, I love it. Skate 2, Skate 3, brilliant games. Moving on to number 3. At uh, number 3 we have Far Cry 3 slash Far Cry 4 because my Far Cry 3 footage wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah, it's been a good day. So you'll see Far Cry 4 anyway, it's a lot more beautiful to look at anyway. And uh, a pig just fell out of the sky. These clips are actually from a fun time I'll be uploading on my channel soon enough. And this clip is fantastic. It's so action movie-esque. But yeah, the reason I love these games is because they're open world. You can do whatever the hell you want. It's kind of contradicting what I said about Batman. But these games are just so good. You've always got something to do. And even though I've... 100% of them completely, I can still go back on and enjoy myself. So these games are highly recommended, so make sure to play them if you haven't already. I need to go back and play Far Cry 2 actually. Which brings me to number 2, which is X-Men Origins Wolverine. Now this obviously had to be in the list somewhere, unfortunately it's not number 1, although it is insane. Just an insane game, it's just so gory and awesome and Wolverine, just I love Wolverine, I'm a huge fan of Wolverine. If you've ever been to my channel watch any of my videos you would know this um, I did a let's play on this game this is actually the DLC of the Weapon X Arena so unfortunately the only DLC that came up for it but this is the environmental kill room which just just um, emphasizes all the environment kills which you can do throughout the game in the campaign perfected this game as well um, so it had to be on the list really because games that I perfect are games that I really love if I don't really like a game, I'm not going to go back and get all the achievements. It's, it's, that's my personal opinion. There's a brilliant clip here <laughs> of where he sets on fire. And I feel bad for him, so I try and help put him out. Try and put the fire out with the water in the tank. But apparently, fire beats water. Yeah, elements. We, we know him well. <laughs> um, so anyway, now moving on to the numero uno, which is Dead Space. Now this game, I cannot stress enough how good it is, which means what? Yes, that's right, perfected this game too. Um, I've actually probably put the most amount of game time hours into this game in than any other game ever, which is probably why it's number one. I This is a game that I played non-stop when I got it. it. I didn't get it on release date because I was very young when it released. I can't remember when it's released and I'm not going to look it up because I can't be bothered. But um, when I did get it, it was about a year ago now that I did get it. I played it non-stop. Um, this is me playing uh, about an hour ago, so I'm a bit rusty. So you can forgive my um, poor gaming skills. But look, I remembered the mind button first time. Boom. Which is a big surprise, actually, because I haven't played this in a very, very long time. But when I did play it, I played it hardcore. As you can see, I've actually got the DLC suit, which um, is... I think the most armored suit you can get because I had I wanted to get it for the impossible playthrough I had to do for the achievement um, because uh, that that's a tough playthrough believe me it's tough and the jump scares they're unreal so if you haven't picked this game up you must it is such a fantastic game series 
Dead Space 2 wasn't too keen on, that's my personal opinion. And uh, Dead Space 3 we don't really talk about. But anyway, if you would like to submit your own list, the details in the description will show you how to do that. Um, please don't hesitate, it'll be interesting to see your guys' opinions. Um, if you guys like this video, please make sure to click the like button. You can subscribe to the Vulture Hub and you'll be updated with gaming news, partner spotlights and other little shizzes that I'll be doing. So uh, make sure to keep updated. My channel is in the description if you ever need to contact me. And I will see you guys in the next upload. See you there.